Indian Wells, one of the most prestigious events on the ATP World Tour. The top players are all here, keen to win the first ATP World Tour Masters 1000 event of the year. And one of the world's most respected sports photographers, Clive Brunskill, is equally keen to showcase his talent. It's the ATP and we're shooting their campaign, pictures that'll be used of all the players through the whole sort of year of tennis of 2011 actually to decorate the tournament with big posters of the players. I did this, this photo shoot already. I think this is my third year, so uh, yeah, I, I know him from the years before. In many ways, it's good to start taking mind off the training and practicing is something a little bit different. And, yeah, it's, it's okay. I like it. Yes, but I'm not looking like a mother, you know, I'm trying to... <laughs> To be good in the photos, I'm not saying. I like to, you know, get out of and think outside of the box a bit. But it's nice just to mix it up a bit, have different ideas, and uh, you know, have some fun with it all. I think it's, it's it's just great to know the players, and they come in, they're comfortable as soon as they see me. Some are good, some aren't so good, but then you sort of have to coax them into making them look good you know, for the, for the image. Over the years, Clive has been up close with many of the game's greatest players. That requires the ability to earn their respect and their trust. I mean, in the olden days, McEnroe was great, you know, because he was just so crazy and, and you couldn't leave a game that John was playing because, I mean, you didn't know what was going to happen. Going through the years, you know, just for style, I used to love photographing Stephen Edberg uh, and Boris. I mean, they were unbelievable. The game has changed, so has the means of capturing it. The digital revolution has transformed the life of the sports photographer. I've been lucky to see the black and white and colour film to the early digital, to the high-res digital now. We're working in, on an advertising shoot that's going to be used on billboard, shot on digital imagery. And it's phenomenal quality. It's, it's better than film now. The ease of working is a little easier. So, yeah, it's just, I've just seen the whole transition. You're looking good. Good. How's that now? That transition also includes the crossover into the world of celebrity. Today's top players are global brand names, but Clive has worked hard developing personal contacts. I don't want the players seeing me on a red carpet trying to snap them, getting some funny sort of picture that I put out that they have no say over. Um, I like to work on a one-to-one -one so they know what I've shot, they choose what I've shot and what goes out they feel good about. The adrenaline rush of capturing the perfect sporting moments is irreplaceable. It's what keeps the best tennis photographers on their game. For me, the guy that would probably top it all is Rafa. I think he's explosive to photograph. He's always been my lucky player because whatever he seems to do, wherever he seems to fall, I always seem to be in the right position. So I actually told him that he was my lucky player. He always makes me a great pitcher. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, hot on the heels of the BNP Paribas Open, we'll have a special report from the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami. And Justin Gibblestop gets the inside track on America's Andy Roddick. Can the former world number one defend his Miami crown? Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. And talk with us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash atpworldtour and Twitter using at atpworldtour. See you next week.